test was pretty hard, but because of Shepherd, I had kind of been through the whole thing before. I got a 97% on my written. <laughs> this is Danny. I just finished studying for my instrument written, and I just wanted to talk about a great resource that I learned about, and it's uh, called Shepherd Air. And it's a very reasonable test bank service that you can augment your instrument training. I did sporties and more from the Shepherd Air, just going through the test bank questions because they give you the explanations that come with it. And their memory uh, methodology to kind of burn things in your brain. I'm, I'm uh, 64 years old, so my brain doesn't work as well as possibly a younger person's. Uh, but it was really uh, intuitive. I'm going to let you know how I did on the exam. I'm, I've got it scheduled for tomorrow. But they have instructors there that you can call. And if you're just kind of like, how is this going to work? You know, how is your test bank similar to the FAA's test bank that I'm going to get? It turns out it's pretty similar. I have less anxiety. I think it's a really good situation to get that um, test bank. And it was like $45. And then if you want to take the other ones, you can, you know, pay that, you know, pay like $10 for the extra one. It's so worth it to do just to go through all the tests, even if you've done the Sporties one. Just get the Shepherd Air one because it, I guarantee you there'll be differences in those two things. And you'll think that you know it, but once you read the real FAA test that Shepherd Air has, you could make a lot of mistakes like I did. Here's the website for Shepherd Air. But they have all the courses here and this is this is 20 end of 2023 and they'll for just another $10 you can get these other these other tests and they're really good. Their answers are very thorough. I had originally a PC version of this. They only let you load the test bank on one device. I switched to the the uh, iPad version and it was so much better. They don't generally allow you to switch, but I had some special circumstances because I lost a PC. They let me load this on the iPad and it was just so much more handy, so much more portable. If you've got 10 minutes, you could go over some questions. If you got an extra 30 minutes, you can go over questions. And it's taken me about three weeks to get ready for the instrument, and I knew nothing. I did have the sporties class. I think this was uh, a game changer. You have this study uh, process, and they keep track of your last question. So you can just pick up where you left off. This remembers. They've got memory aids that they're constantly updating. And what I what I ended up doing was just creating I their between their memory aids and my memory aids, I just created a sheet of paper that I could just use to jot down at the beginning of the test on a piece of paper and then I could use those memory aids for my for my test. I also did get uh a Pilot's Cafe document that I used. I think the Shepherd Air, though, is good enough. Their explanations are very well written and they're good enough. The other thing that I think you're gonna need is this E6B electronic version. It has prompting on it that you can, you can just fire up and then uh, figure out what what you want to do and then it's going to input certain things like wind direction, wind speed, and you're going to be calculating leg time and you're going to do required fuel and re required climb and required descent. The answers work out perfectly. You do have an option to memorize some of the answers of the tests if you want, but I think that this is just, this This works out fine. And I, so I spent three weeks studying and I feel pretty good right now. I think it's just a question of how well I'll do. I think I'm going to pass the test because I've been just drilling on these thousand plus questions. 
Um, so the 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 thing is now that I Before think the task, that, what I do is I just come up with this cheat sheet uh, that I'm going to be able to duplicate. I I pretty much written these cheat sheets about probably done it about thirty times. So I just kind of cr create this this kind of cheat sheet that I can use that I can just. When they give me the first piece of paper and the pencil, I'm just going to write this down. And it grounds me for what's to come on the test. It kind of helps me when I'm reading the questions, I can go over, over to the cheat sheet and just say, okay, yes, I've got this, I've got this. Because what can happen is you can get mixed up on, you know, whether it's a foot more or a foot lower than the altitude. And it's better just to write everything down. And then when they ask you the question, before you look at all the answers and confuses, you just kind of get out your cheat sheet. Anyway, that's what I've been doing. Um, and I'm doing this like maybe an hour before the test. The other thing I did was on um, on Shepherd, they 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 allow you to mark uh, the the things you're weak on, and they really drill you on. Hey, just you go over and over and over on these things that you mark that you're weak on, and I've been doing that. And to tell you the truth, it takes a while to actually get those all those answers correct um you know i'm i'm missing them quite often you know I, I get them right for a couple of times and then i miss them so i've just been drilling on those and that's what they recommend and that's what you need to do and their software is just perfect to do make sure that you look for any updates because they're constantly updating their test bank they're they're receiving input from people and they and they just update their test bank just to help you out well I got a 97 per, I got a 97 percent on my written <laughs> um I didn't think I did that well but the things you, you know they use a book they use the FAA kind of book for the diagrams and that you do a lot of page flipping and you can kind of get screwed up a little bit you just got to double check your diagrams make sure you got the right um you know set of facts there um, because particularly it's a problem when they're showing you an HSI and if you're not sure that you got the right page you could screw up I almost did that once um, yeah I took everything you know it was down to 10 minutes on the on the uh, you know, timer before I finished the test the one thing that I would maybe do is just take one blow through the the stuff that you didn't initially have trouble with there's two phases there's step one and two and then there's um step three where you step three or four where you identify the things you're having trouble with a lot of the stuff i had trouble with was on the test and it was like exactly the same uh, questions in fact when i was using my uh, calculator my e6b i actually had one of the problems that was already loaded in my e6b that's how nice it is to basically go through all the questions and not have to figure stuff out i think that there were questions that i didn't initially have trouble with that i didn't mark on the shepherd system that i had forgotten so anyway I did pretty well though, and I'm just surprised. That test was pretty hard, but because of Shepard, I had kind of been through the whole thing. Anyway, I wish you luck on your tests. I am in no way going to, uh, Shepard didn't give me any money. It didn't uh, give me any money or any, uh, there's no motivation to do this, but I am gonna go back and um, tell, you know, maybe, uh, fill out the questionnaire for Shepard. They do ask some for some feedback and I'm gonna do that. Maybe I'll help you uh, other than just this video. Anyway, you got you have a good instrument rating experience, will you? I gotta go do the, the flight part still. So that's gonna be really hard.